Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a torn page effect. So for example, maybe you want to show a post-it note that we had like a, or something that looks like a post-it note or a yellow piece of paper, we have our torn pages, or maybe we want to have our torn pages, a torn page effect in the middle of a uh, piece of paper or rectangular piece of paper looking like shape. Or we have a image and we want to make it simulate look like we tore the edges off the top and the bottom. So let's get into the demo where I'll show you how to create this torn page effect on these three examples. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this one slide to show the three examples. So to do the first one, the, the yellow one, what I need to do is insert a square shape. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a square shape. You can insert a square shape. You just use the rectangle here. And I'm going to draw, draw it out here and I'm going to draw it a smaller uh, shape here. I don't need the uh, outline, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the outlines. And uh, let's go ahead and change the color to yellow, like we had earlier. And what I need to do now is I need to incorporate another shape. And this is going to be a freeform drawing shape. So I'm going to go under uh, Insert. Actually, since I've got, the insert, I've got the format here, I've got another Insert Shapes group. I can actually get it from here instead of going to the Insert tab here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this particular uh, drawing line. It's a freeform drawing line. What I'm going to do is select that. And I'm going to start to draw out my jagged uh, edges here. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of start my jagged edges here. So it'll look like the uh, torn page effect here. And I'm just going to go ahead and loop it back and complete that shape. So the shape is completed now. And I'm not going to worry about changing the color and whatnot, the shape. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use another feature in PowerPoint where I'm going to merge these shapes together and subtract uh, the shape out from here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this image first and then s press the control key and select that image. So they're both selected now. And so in the format tab under insert shapes, we have this merge shapes command. So I'm going to go ahead and select the last one where I'm going to subtract it. So now I've subtracted that second shape from the first shape. And now I have my torn page effect. So it looks like I have my torn page effect here. So it's, it's a little stark here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset it with some shadow. Go ahead and go under, click on the image and go under shape effects and just go to shadow and give them one, give one of these shadow effects. Uh, let me go from the bottom, uh, offset from the bottom left. And so here is my little torn page effect. So if I wanted to create the second example where I have a torn page effect and it's kind of torn in the middle, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. I can go into insert, but you also notice that there's a drawing group here under the home tab, and I just click on there, or I can use my recently used shape. I don't even need to click down here. I can just use this one and kind of draw it out. So I'm going to draw out that shape here, and I'm also going to click on format here and get rid of the shape outline. I don't need the outline, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'll go ahead and keep the blue color. I kind of like the blue color. And now what I want to do is I want to do the same thing I did here, is create that jagged edge on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and select that freeform tool, uh, select on that, and I'll just go ahead and kind of draw it out now. So I'm going to draw it out here. So I'm going to draw it out here, all right, and then come over here and then start to draw the inside part now. I'm going to draw it over here, come out, and then I'll just go ahead and complete it. And I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of the outline here too because I don't want that that outline to show up. When, once I uh, go ahead and do the merge shapes. So I'll go ahead and get rid of the outline. No outline here. And I'm going to go ahead and deselect that. Select this one first. Uh, press the control key. Select the second image. Go into merge shapes. And let's go ahead and subtract. So now I've subtracted it. Now we have the torn page effect right in the middle. So I'll also incorporate some shadow. Go under the, uh, it's selected here. So I'll go under the shadow here and probably have Let's do uh, the same thing that we had earlier. We have the shadow coming from the bottom left. So that is the torn page effect in the middle. So I can also do a torn page effect with an image. Instead of creating a shape, I can do an image here. And so what I need to do is just select on that image, do the same thing I did before, get that free form, and just go ahead and start to draw that torn page, torn page here. Oops, I think I'd. Uh, let's go. Let me go ahead and, and undo that. Control Z to undo. Let me go and just select that and Control Z to undo that shape because I took off that A. So let me go ahead and get that freeform shape. Start to draw it. Go down there and then draw it out here and complete that shape. 
That looks okay. Let me go ahead and deselect that. Select that image first. Select this image second. Go ahead and go under. Now we've got two uh, contextual tabs here. One's the picture tool because this is a picture and it's an image. And the other one is a drawing tool because that's the drawing image. So I'm going to go ahead and select the drawing tool and go into merge shapes and click on subtract. So now what we can do is do the same thing where we have for the top and now go ahead and just uh, select that, that free form and just create the torn image here or the torn shape here and close that up and let me go ahead and move it, move it a little bit over here. Select this image first, control select the second image, go into format here, merge shapes and subtract it. Now we have that torn page effect on the top. Let me go ahead and go into format and go to picture effects and give it that shadow that I did earlier for the other ones and we can get that shadow in there so you now see that nice little shadow like it's offset off from the page and so that's the torn page effect on an image that is on the top and on the bottom so you can you might have noticed that you know you can do this uh, particular effect on shapes on pictures almost any other type of visual media that you have on slides so I hope that helps thanks for watching